Alrighty, I just wanted to say before this video begins, uh, I hope you guys do actually enjoy these videos and this series. Uh, I've been taking quite a lot of time in actually building this thing, and I think it's actually looking pretty good. Having a light goal is, is not something I like to do or have done very much in the past, but if we can actually reach 300 likes on this video, I'd appreciate it so much. If you guys haven't subscribed as well, uh, consider doing that, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Alrighty, hello guys, Alchemy Faces back to another video. Today we are actually continuing on with our plane, and as you guys can see, it is looking okay! I can't stop saying it! Um, my intros have been the same for the past few videos, and I can't actually stop saying it. But anyway, in the previous video, we ended up adding a autopilot and auto also like an altitude hold uh, system that didn't really work, like it didn't actually pay off for us. Uh, because things ended up being quite bad. Now, in my head, I was figuring that maybe this was a problem, the fact that it was angled like this, but I don't think that's the case. Uh, I've got one comment right here, by hmm, that says we should lower the proportional gain, uh, and apparently that'll fix things a little bit. So, let's go ahead and do that. We won't be doing all of the video today based on that. I think we'll actually increase the wing sweep on this as well. Uh, probably in today's video, and, uh, yeah, so, as you guys can see, it sweeps backwards, but it doesn't sweep backwards enough. Uh, I feel like it needs to go a little bit further, so we'll probably work on that today as well. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get on with it. Let's do this. Okie dokie, so, wing sweep is possibly the easiest, or, or, like, the first thing that we could actually do. Uh, and the best or easiest way of doing that is to delete this and probably move it backwards by, like, one. Uh, and that would be probably fine, so let's go ahead and grab this, put it on there, actually we need to do this on both sides, hang on, one second, delete, actually bring all this back is what I mean, delete this, delete this, delete this, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, alright, awesome, do this backwards to there, and I think we'll get away with doing that, I think that's probably fine. And then, we obviously have to go to the, uh, the switch box that does this, which I'm not sure where it is, it's all the way in the back of the aircraft apparently. <laughs> I don't know why it's back there, but sure, we'll go with 0.04, and hopefully this will actually increase it a little bit. With that being said, we'll also turn this so it automatically does it, and hopefully that works. Let's have a little look at this, have a little look at this, and uh, yeah, I'd say that actually looks pretty sick, to be honest. I think that does look pretty good, uh, but maybe a little bit further would be a little bit better. Alright, it's now at 0.05, let's go ahead and have a little look, see the wing sweep on it now, and... Honestly, I actually think that's pretty good, but I know a few of you guys really want it to go further than that. So what if we actually made it one? I know, oh, okay, close to one. Let's go with minus eight. Sorry, 0 0.8, I should say. So as you guys can see, it swings, uh, yeah, swings itself backwards uh, to about there. I think it is actually colliding and that's what's stopping it right now. So we'll try and figure that out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is... Noises. That scared the life out of me. Uh, yeah, this is a bit annoying, but honestly, I think the way we do this is we delete these guys. Uh, and honestly, we actually probably delete this going backwards like so. Um, put that piece back on there, delete this one. Actually, no, leave it like that. And I think this will work out, so... Uh, as you guys can see, it has to go on there like this. There we go, and we do that. I think that'll make things a little bit better, but honestly, I think 4 will actually do it a lot better than that. One, two, three, four. All right, put this block back. One second. Uh, one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. There we go. Awesome. And then we'll attach this guy onto here, like so. Good. No, wait. The other way around. The other way around. There we go. And do that all the way forwards. Excellent. And that should slide itself in properly, which would be good. Uh, and honestly... I feel like we need to get rid of a bit of this too, because this moves, uh, and that should be all fine. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know, but yeah, we'll go with this, we'll delete those guys, and we'll do something like this here. Uh, bam. There we go, excellent. So that should allow it to actually turn quite a distance now. Let's have a little look at it. There we go. And no, it's stuck, it's stuck in the same place. It's just because the wing is so big. <laughs> That's the problem with it, the wing is actually so big. That it goes into the edge. So, what if we deleted this, and we deleted this, and we actually allowed it to go into there? I think that's probably the best way of doing this. So we'll actually delete most of that, and allow it to swing in, and hopefully that works. Go. Is that any better? 
Yes, it is. All right, cool. We'll leave it just like that. I think that's actually perfect. Good. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. Nice. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to actually go to the interior. We have to go to the microcontroller at the back and change the proportional gain to, what, less or more? Lower. So it's currently at 0.01. We're going to go with 0.01. Sorry, 0.001 and see if that works. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Who knows? Also, the other thing that I need to uh, do is the fact that uh, the thingamabobby controls all of these guys. Uh, the thing at the back. This guy. Uh, we're not going to allow it to do all the stuff at the front. We're actually going to go ahead and get rid of these. There we go. Uh, and these are actually going to be attached to just this. Uh, and I think that's probably a good idea. So do this all the way around all of these guys. And I think we'll have more of a chance of this actually working now. So let's see if this works. Let's go. Okie dokie. I put the gyro on from the start because I feel like that's a good idea. And... Uh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. It actually looks sick with the wings swept back this far. That's cool. That's real cool. Obviously, we're still limiting the throttle on this as well. Um, that is actually happening. But it is going to be okay here, I think. All right, let's angle it to the side so we definitely take off properly. Okay, here we go. Oh, we tail striked. <laughs> we actually tail striked. That sucks. Uh, did we destroy the microcontroller? I don't think so. All right, well, we're flying. Good. Let's walk backwards. Hang on. Close the door. Open the door. Good. Let's go back here, see if everything still works. So, uh, autopilot. I want it to go in the right direction. Let's say it goes this way. So, we'll whack that in there. Turn on the autopilot. Oh. <laughs> Hang on a minute. It was starting to go the right direction, and then it... It missed. <laughs> it's flying in the wrong direction. Why? Why is it flying in the wrong direction? All right, whatever. Altitude hold is going to go on at about 600. There we go. We're still ascending for some reason. We are still going up. I hate th I hate these. <laughs> I hate these so much. It's super annoying. I put 600 in there and it's it's climbing still. That's super duper annoying. That's really really annoying. Yeah. So it's still climbing. It is very stable as it climbs, but whatever. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna sort out the landing gear so that that actually goes in, uh, and we can do it mid-flight, which would be good. Uh, and Whoa, what's going on there? The bomb bay is a bit of an issue, but that's okay. Um, and there's something else that I need to do as well, but we need to figure that out. I'm not sure what I need. Okie dokie. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and grab this, uh, which is literally just the button for the landing gear. We're going to move it upwards. We're going to move it inwards. And we need it to go in here somewhere. So I'm actually thinking the landing gear button would actually be okay. Literally right there. But we'll move it forwards a little bit and we'll have it go there. Because reasons. So paste it there. Merge it in. And make sure we paint the outside. No, it doesn't need painting. Good. So this is um, our landing gear. Landing gear. There we go. Excellent. That's fantastic. Okay. The other thing is obviously we need to move this. Uh, this being the wing sweep button. Uh, although it should happen automatically. So I feel like if it's greater than... I don't know. Do we go with speed or do we go with altitude? I think we go with altitude, to be honest. But maybe we go with speed. Let's go with speed. Uh, so, delete this. We need a greater than. Greater than. Uh, there is probably better ways of doing this, and you guys always let me know um, after I've done it <laughs> the way that I've done it wrong. But if it's greater than... Oh, wait. I needed to see where that actually linked up to. Okay, uh, these actually link up to that at the back, obviously. All right, okay, cool. So this goes under here. If A is greater than B, an off signal, wait. Outputs an off signal if A is less than or equal to B. Okay, so we need a number. And we need to shove it in there. Okay, here we go. Number. Go ahead and put it right here. 
good. And that is going to be... So this is our speed, remember. Uh, if it's less than... 50! I haven't really been paying attention to the speed, but let's see if this works. So, value to compare. Okay, so there we go. So this actually goes to... Th this? No, wait, that's wrong. It can't work that way around, can it? That goes into there, so this has to go into... Oh, I'm really confused now. No, is that the way it works? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> so this controls... Okay, why is... My brain is so confused right now. It's really confused right now. Oh yeah, this this literally has nothing to do with this. Sorry, value to compare is actually the speed. All right, that's where I was going wrong. I don't know why, like my brain my brain gets very boggled a lot. And yeah, okay, I worked it out eventually. <laughs> so it is actually the speedo that this needs to go to, and I don't actually know where our speedo is. Uh, that's an issue. I I don't know where the speedo is. Where is the speed? Hang on, speed is somewhere back there. It's this. All right, cool. So the speed goes into here, and uh, that should be good. All right, cool. Uh, let's spawn in and see if this actually works. Okay, the wing sweep is currently out. That's fine. Okay, let's get inside. It's this bit of the game that I don't really start... Like, I really don't enjoy this bit of the game. Uh, the tinkering around with stuff and making things work properly isn't really what I like. I like building the main bit. So as you guys can see, I enjoyed building the plane. I don't enjoy making the plane work perfectly. <laughs> anyway, uh, we are going to start going now. As you guys can see, the wings are out. Okay, because we are stopped. As soon as we reach a speed of 50. Alright, hang on. The wings should fold in. There we go. Alright. Uh, 50 is pretty much takeoff speed as well, so that's kind of interesting. But there you go. So the wings sweep at 50. I think it needs to be a little bit higher than that. We'll go with 70 instead, probably, but that's good. All right, nice. Landing gear. All right, it folds up. Obviously, we got an issue with the landing gear still. You guys were saying use a, a capacitor or something. So we'll probably end up doing that because obviously this is an issue. But it's the first time we've actually flown it and had landing gear actually folded in. Let me do this again. It works sometimes. <laughs> it does work sometimes. It's just right now it's not working. Hang on, let's let's try something. Wiggle. All right, wiggling ain't working. Wiggling ain't working. But honestly, this thing does actually fly quite nicely as it is. Uh, it's just the problem with the landing gear. The autopilot obviously got issues. I don't know what to do with that, to be honest. But um, yeah, you know what? Not bad. I like it. All right, okay, so let's return this back, and I want to show you guys something that you, well, a few of you guys do actually want. Um, it is the radar, so if we have a little look at radar, uh, we obviously have uh, this phalanx, uh, which is for, like, the, the guns. The guns? Um, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, I say for guns. It's not. It could be used for lots of things. <laughs> but there you go. Uh, we got the radar for the missile, which is like a little one that you put on the front of it. We obviously got the radar dish, which doesn't really fit on a plane. I'm not going to lie. That's it's not really what you'd want to add to a plane, but sure. And then we've obviously got the radar, the basic one, which is just a tiny one, which we could actually obviously install underneath and just that would be fine. Uh, and then we've obviously got the big boy, the AWACS. Uh, and honestly, that would fit on this aircraft. Just about. Uh, I would want to raise it up a little bit, but it would fit. So, yeah. And it would probably go quite far back as well, which is kind of cool. Um, I really don't know whether I want to use one of these, but it would be cool to do so. Uh, but then we'd have to get rid of this, which is our cargo door, and that's a bit of an issue, maybe. It could be an issue, but at the same time, maybe not. Hmm. Hmm. If all of the spots go in front of this... We might not have a problem. I don't know. Uh, also, just as a side note, I actually want to change it back to the green. Um, because reasons. And honestly, I think I want all of it to go green again. Unless I don't. We'll leave it like that. Uh, as well as that, somebody did mention 
that maybe I should actually make these bigger because obviously we built these at the beginning um, and now that we've added the rest of the plane they're actually probably a little bit too small so we might make these a little bit bigger in the future too. I need to know what you guys think though because uh, it's really important to me that I get it right and uh, that you guys actually like what I've built. So yeah. Um, so far, so good. I've done a few things that you guys wanted me to do. We've swept the wings back a little bit further, um, which is awesome. And, uh, yeah, that's good. That is actually pretty good. Um, so yeah, nice. The other thing that I've been wanting to do, actually, and I forgot to do, uh, we need to go to paint. We need to go to this, and I want to paint this bit in the floor. And I want to go around the top of this, like so, even including that bit. And I want to do this bit as well. Bam, 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 and bam, bam. There we go. Excellent. Gives it a little bit of detail and makes it look a little bit more normal, which is always good. Uh, so there we go. Good. Right, I'm going to put this in here too. Nice. I think we've done a pretty good job so far. Uh, again, there are a few issues and there are a few things that still need changing. Um, let me go down to the greater than thingamabobby and change that now while I can. Where is it? Where is it? Where have I put it? I'm confused. Oh, here it is. So we want this to be 75 instead. So the wings sweep at 75 miles uh, meters per second instead of 50. So we'll be actually in the sky at that point, which is perfect. Um, so there you go. Nice. Good. Right. Well, anyway, uh, we've somewhat got things working. Obviously, the, uh, the autopilot still has issues. It doesn't seem to want to go in the right direction, uh, which is odd. But, um, yeah. The only other thing I can think of doing is changing it around again. Because I did change it, didn't I? So, the X should be A. And then the Y should be B. And now it should work. Let's try it. It went the right direction to begin with, so that's good. But we'll see what happens here. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Inside, very good. Close this up. Turn the light on. That light does nothing, by the way. Really doesn't help. Uh, but let's go. Let's go, 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 go. I need more monitors in here as well. Obviously, I've got this monitor for the bombardier thing of a bobby. Uh, I might have a bomb drop button in here as well. Um, probably, probably quite useful. But I want a bombardier seat as well, so it might have to be a two-seater plane. A two-seater plane. What am I talking about? Uh, a two-person plane at all times. So playing single-player with this might not be an option, but we'll see. Anyway, press 2. It takes off somewhat by itself, which is good. Go ahead and press this. Landing gear obviously struggles. <laughs> Definitely struggles. If I wiggle it, maybe it'll go in. Nope. Alright, whatever. And let's go see if the autopilot works. Alright, close the door, make sure we can get out. There we go, excellent. Let's go, go, go. Alright, so autopilot, we're going to go ahead and put it in. There we go. Turn the right way, which it is doing this time again. Stop. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Now we just need the altitude hold to work, which it doesn't. <laughs> but 600. Uh, there we go. Okay, awesome. Do that. Okay, so the proportional gain needs to go up more, uh, and that should be good. All right, excellent. But the autopilot does actually work now, which is amazing. We are now flying in the right direction, and that is excellent. Somebody did ask uh, to drop the bombs while flying. I feel like dropping them at this speed is probably a bad idea, but let's try it. <laughs> We're going to blow up. There they go. All bombs left except two. There they go. They've all dropped. Excellent. We do have one bomb remaining, but if we slow down, we can drop that out, obviously. Let's get back to the front. There we go, and slow down. There it goes. Nice. Very nice indeed. -y. That's actually really good. Now we're at the target. It's just going to circle it, and that's okay. Nice. Okay, so um, we've got it. The, uh, the autopilot works. The altitude hold doesn't work, but that's okay. Good. We're doing things. We're making things work. Excellent. 
Okay, so now that we've actually got something working, uh, we are going to go back to the uh, workbench again, and we're going to try and figure out the autopilot. Sorry, the altitude hold. So, what was said was increase, sorry, decrease the proportional gain uh, on it, so that it doesn't, like, flip us out. But it was 0 0.01, and I changed it to 0 0.001, which is actually a lot less. So, we're going to go with 0 0.01. Not seven. Is that right? I'm confused again. I'm confused again, but I think that's right. Let's go with it and see what happens. Um. All right. Okay. So we're gonna put our altitude in. Uh. At five hundred, because we seem to get to that altitude pretty quickly. We're gonna go ahead and put our GPS coordinates in, and we won't do that yet. We're gonna take off one last time in this video. And this is going to work. Or it's not. <laughs> you know, just as a side note, I really need brakes. Uh, we don't actually have any brakes on this thing. And obviously that's not amazing. <laughs> it's really not good, actually. But anyway, here we go. We're taking off. Let's go. Press 2. Automatic gyro is on. And we are in said sky. In the sky. Do that. Run backwards. Uh, we have this as well, by the way. Cabin lights. Go ahead and turn this on. And turn this on. Okay, so we know the autopilot works. We don't know if the altitude hole works. It's wanting to get us up into the sky more, obviously, as you guys can see. Once we are at the altitude, it is lowering itself. Okay, we are at said altitude. And it is actually trying to keep us there now. It's failed a little bit, so we need it to go up a little bit more. But it works. Kind of. Kind of. Um, I'm going to somewhat fine-tune that now, uh, off, off video. Uh, and that should be working by the next time we actually do a video, which is awesome. I'm just messing with that proportional gain number, and that's okay. So, now that we've got that sorted, in the next video, probably what we will do is fix the landing gear issue. Obviously, there is a big issue there. Uh, we need to fix that. Uh, the bombs peeking out the side is a little bit annoying, to be honest. There we, <laughs> we can just see the small warheads pointing out the side. Uh, but that's okay. Um, and yeah, we need to work on a bombardier's seat, which is the one that's already in there. Uh, I want to have an engine startup seat with RPS of each engine listed on dials. Uh, we'll also have the fuel at that one as well. Probably the engine heat uh, as well. So we'll have a bunch of things that we can have. Uh, and that's probably a good idea. Like a little station that monitors the engines. Probably a good idea. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.